Okay, we're back with John, weeks 14 to 15 of his right Achilles repair. You can see that scar is going well. I'm going to show you a few things that are changed in this week that we're working on to try and make sure he progresses. The first one we're going through is his soleus calf race eccentric, meaning he's going from two legs, which he did last week. Do you want to show me that for me, John? So bending knees, going up, pushing up two legs and down which you know, you don't really see too much difference left and right because this one is helping the right one. Now, he has to go two up, one down. So we call it eccentric. So if you watch this, he's gonna go two up, over to his right, and then down. A Couple of things, he's gotta stay with a bent knee, which takes the you know, emphasis off using the gas drop and places him on more soleus and the other tendons down here. But if you watch the strength on this one, what happens to him when he comes over? You watch the little drop, there it is there, okay? So he drops on the isometric before he comes down. That's what he needs to work on, is making sure when he gets to the top and he transitions from two legs to lifting this, taking to the right, that he doesn't immediately drop on the right, gains that isometric strength, and then slow lowers. It's hard. But that will get him stronger and stronger and stronger through there. Obviously a little bit of flexibility has got something to do with that, but Technically, his flexibility is better than his strength, so he has to focus on strengthening the most. A um, couple of things with this one. One was making sure it doesn't drop. Two was making sure when you do your soleus calf raises, you don't just be, sort of bend your knees and lift your heels. So I'll show you if he does it wrong. Watch this. Just lifts his heels, right? And his body doesn't go anywhere. What he wants to do is when he goes forward, he lifts his whole body up. See that? All right? So whole body up and down, not just up and down with your toes, okay? So when you're doing this with home, make sure you can see yourself going up and down with your body. Make sure you are transitioning over to the right and holding it there and not holding on too much there, okay? This hand on the cage here needs to be more balanced. A little bit of assistance to start with, but mostly balanced. And obviously, when he gets really good, maybe a couple of weeks, maybe four weeks, he's going to find that he doesn't have to hold on at all. All right, so that's the solace one. Second thing is changing his stretching. Now, before he was just doing bent knee calf stretches on the floor. Now we're going to get him up on the bench. Now this is so much better for him because he can really get into the flexibility here. And he has been sort of concerned about his tightness that he gets. Now the tightness is the body trying to keep equilibrium, so it's tightening up because of the lack of strength. To be honest, his flexibility is better than his strength, but he's, so that's why he has to work really hard on strength because then it won't tighten up as much. But this stretching will help him get some more flexibility so he can do his strengthening more often without any worries. With this one, Show me that stretch for me. What he's trying to do is go into more dorsiflexion here, okay? The more dorsiflexion he gets, the more stretching he's gonna get here. Um, the trick with this is raising it up on a bench and trying to push his heel down and back into either the plinth or the bed or the table, whatever he's put his foot up onto. And this will give him a really nice stretch through the back here. Also work on his ankle flexibility. Now sometimes people get a bit of ankle sort of impingement or tightness in the front, you have gotta be careful of that, making sure that you don't go so far to get sore in the front of the ankle, but his, it's all you've got to visualize, when I push my knee forward, that actually heel's got to go backwards and down, the same as you do a gastroc stretch. So that's a really nice one for him to advance to. So if you go into the gastroc mode, if he just basically swaps legs, he can either do this up on the bench, we put his other one up. Now he's going to try and stretch this more than that, all right? Now when he goes forward, don't make the mistake of letting that knee bend. So you really got to try and use your quad here Push your knee into extension as your hip goes forward, and then push your heel down as well. So you can't let the weight go onto your toes and lift this. This has actually got to, as he goes forward, it's quite hard to sort of get to your head, but as he goes forward, the heel goes down and back, and the knee goes back. Then he'll get that nice gastroc stretch right there, okay? So a lot of sort of thinking about your stretches is really going to help him. Now, when he's in that position, we're going to try and work on his triple extension. Triple extension meaning hip extension, knee extension, and plantar flexion, which is you know, dorsal extension, if you like. So what he's going to do is what we call a mountain climber. Now, if you go back onto two legs, from John, this one's hard. It works on your isometric strength on your push-off, okay? So it's going to help you with stairs, with walking, with going into jogging down the track. Um, to try and stop the heel dropping and trying to make sure that he uses his knee extension to get the gastro working. And it, it's a really good sort of mind-muscle connection for him as well. Now, you're aiming for like three sets of 10. He's only going to get maybe three or four in a set, and then he'll have to keep sort of stopping for fatigue and then keep going in. What he's going to do, 
up on his toes, so you go up into a calf raise, but you notice he's on an angle, okay? So he's up on a calf raise. Then what he's got to try and do is lift his left leg forward, see that little drop there, and then come down again. And he's going to try and do as many of those as he can in a row to keep this up, this knee straight, okay, and work on his isometric strength here. And when he gets fatigued, he has a break like that, all right? Yeah, and then he might do a few on his left side to remind his brain what he's supposed to do. You can see that gastroc working, you know, solidly there. His heel doesn't drop, it's perfect here. Tells his brain, this is what I've got to do, these are the muscles I've got to use, and then he goes back to his right, does the same thing. And we'll know he's getting good at this when this heel starts drop, stops dropping down, and he can hold his full plantar flexion isometric while he does his left leg lift, like he can do on his left then you can progress along. So this is a really important one. It's a bit boring, but it's very, very helpful for people's overall function, walking uphill, okay, going upstairs, stopping that limping going on, and just generally trying to get more connection through his gastroc so he can build his bulk, build his strength, um, and progress along. So that's just a few little insights for this week. Obviously, he's all doing the set B. He's working on all his step downs and his single leg squats, and he's doing his deadlifts. He's doing all that but there's still a massive focus on, hey, you've got to work on single leg calf work as a priority and keep that going as much as possible to progress along. See you next time.